Good evening. I'm Brett Cirovo with Gay Cable Network in Cincinnati. We have with us tonight Hugh McAfee, a deacon at All Saints Chapel in Mount Adams. Good evening, Hugh. Good evening, Brett. Tell us about All Saints Chapel. What makes you unique? All Saints Chapel is a non-denominational Christian worship service. Our uniqueness comes from the fact that we are not affiliated with any national organization. By that means that we control our own destiny and we run our own show without any interference from any higher up. What are the advantages or disadvantages of not being affiliated with a national organization? The advantages of being not affiliated with a national organization is for the fact that if we see something that needs to be done, we can go and do it and not have to go through the red tape. The disadvantages of that is our lack of funding that we would have and our lack of support that we would have from higher up. And if we would need advice from someone who would be of a higher up authority, we don't have that to go back to. What kind of special programs do you sponsor at All Saints? Uh, special programs that we sponsor at All Saints, we have had in the past, we have had a smoke enders clinic, we have had a love class, which is based on the teachings of Leo Biscaglia, which I'm not sure if you're familiar with that or not. That is basically, it's a tension relieving class, which teaches everyone how to be more receptive with each other's feelings and emotions. We also have on every second Friday of every month, from September until May, we have socials, which have never a cover charge, and we welcome anyone who comes to the social. Most of the time, they're potluck dinners and dances. Other times, there are other special occasions. We have sponsored an ecumenical picnic with the local integrity group, and we have also sponsored the local ecumenical service for the Gay Pride Week in Cincinnati this year. Do you have any regular ongoing programs? Our ongoing program now that we have is our outreach program, which is a two-fold program. Our external program for outreach is for us to reach the community. The gay and lesbian community in Cincinnati is showing us that they have a need that we have. And in the past year, we have started sending out mailers and circulate circulars to our local people. And we have sent out news releases once a month to our local publications and to some national publications also. The internal um, use for that that we have is we have several people on our staff who whenever we have a new visitor come to church we wake them feel welcome we take them around we introduce them to other people who are attending the service and we also follow that up with a little note saying thank you for coming we really enjoyed having you here and we hope that you'll be able to come back and visit with us again how old is your outreach program our outreach program began about a year ago um, the chapel itself is three years that's correct why the two-year lag between the two? When the chapel originally was founded, it was founded by a group of three or four people who were not sure what direction the church was going to go. So at that point, there was a lot of trial and error of things that were happening. About a year ago, several people then joined the chapel and we saw a need that we had to reach the community, that we weren't being heard in the community. That's when we started with our newsletters and our outreach program, and it has been a success for us. I noticed in your uh, material that you have an acting pastor. Um, are you looking for a permanent pastor? That's correct. Our permanent pastor that we had resigned because of ill health reasons, and now we are in the search committee for a new pastor. On some, Sunday, September 29th, Quentin Warfield, who is a uh, very, very fine speaker, Reverend Quentin Warfield, who has a master's degree from, I can't remember the institution, but it's um, from a college in Boston. He has very well credentials, will be speaking at the church, and we would like to extend this opportunity to wish everyone to come out and hear what he speaks, just so that you'll get to know who is going to be one of our newer leaders in the community. Thank you for being with us, Hugh. Thank you, Brett. For Gay Cable Network in Cincinnati, this is Brett Cerevel.